Hello all, Shoestring here. Today I'm going to do a review on this 3-in-1 LED lantern, fan, and a power bank. This I got at Harbor Freight for about $19. You can use a coupon, get them even cheaper. I have found it works extremely well for me, and so I wanted to show it to you guys. It can be used during an emergency when the power goes out. And I, by the way, am moving away from all different types of batteries. Double A, triple A, C's, D's, 9 volts. And moving more toward items such as this that I can charge up using a USB and an inverter in my batteries. And this one can be used like that. All right, so... It says, and I've checked most of these are right, up to 35 hours runtime, depending on what you're using. It has 300 lumen, which is pretty good when it's just dark and you're trying to light the house up. It can be recharged, like I said, with the USB. And you can use it as a power bank. It won't charge a lot, but it'll charge your phone up. And I'm about to show you that. This is what the box looks like. Right there. I'm about to go through it with you. The actual device, by the way, is right here. As you see, it has a light and a fan. Actually, it has two lights. And I'm about to show you that right now. One thing I don't like, by the way, are these controls right here. When it's dark, they're really hard to see. I'll try to show them to you, but they're really hard to see. Even though they work very well, you don't have to push them hard. You can see there's a light right there. This is your lantern. It has three settings. High, medium, and a low. Right there. You can see that. Okay. The next one is the fan. Same thing. High, medium, and low. Now, it's not going to run a fan for your whole house, of course, but just sitting next to you in a chair or aimed at your head in bed is not too bad, actually. Don't expect these little things to do too much. These are just for emergencies before you can get up and start doing what you really need to make your house work. This is an emergency measure. You can also use it camping, of course, in your RV, different uses. And there's the fan all the way on high, you can probably hear that. Actually puts out a pretty good bit of air. Off. The next one you see right here is a flashlight. Also works fairly well. There we go. Okay. That's the fan and the two different types of lights it has. Now, it also, at the bottom, has a little hook. The hook, right there, as you can see, can be used if you actually want to hang it up and use it as a lantern. It actually brightens up everything and it makes it a pretty good light to see by. I test these things out before I show it to you guys. Especially something like this that I think is a pretty good product. And I'm recommending it to you. Once again, I get uh, nothing for doing this. Harbor Freight doesn't pay me. I don't get anything for showing it to you. No, I didn't get it for free. I've never got a product for free. I buy things I want to use for my homestead. And then if it works and I like it, I show it to you guys. Okay. Next step, how do we power it up? Go to the back, right here. Open this up, and right there, you have two connections, small one and a large one. All right, the small one, which I just hooked up for you right there, is for charging the device up. 
The larger one, the U actual USB, is used for when you want to power a device such as a cell phone. So, now that I have it plugged in there, the cord came with it, by the way. Let's go ahead and plug it into an inverter. Plugged in. And hopefully you can see this. That little red light came on. Right there. Hopefully you see that little red light. Once it's fully charged, it becomes greenish, almost clear. And you can see that the device is fully charged. So right now it's charging up. And it is just that easy. US, use a USB port anywhere. And you can charge yours up. I have this connected to a 200 modified sine wave inverter and a little 12 volt 18 amp hour battery. Just to show you how easy and efficient this can be. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to charge a device using the battery bank inside this little device here. Okay, so you unhook the back. And as you can see, there is, like I showed you before, a USB and a regular port. We're going to plug the USB in right there. Then we're going to take the other side right there. Open up the phone. Take it, plug it in. And as you can see, it comes on and it is starting to charge it. You can see the little blue line there. And it is starting to charge it up. See the lights going up and down. Okay, and it's just that simple. You can take this and charge practically any device you have that the cord will fit into. And I've noticed it fits in the most cell phones, tablets, little devices like that. Go ahead and unplug it. That's all the devices we have on this. All right, we have the fan which runs fairly well. Remember, it's small. It's not going to do a lot. Just a personal fan. It has the two lights. It has the lantern light and the little flashlight. Uh, like I showed you, you can take the lantern, the hook, and just hang it up. And now you're going to have a lantern hanging up on the ceiling or wherever you'd like to have it. And it has this power bank, which I just showed you. I like this. I've used it. It works really well. I've used it several times when the power went out. It's extremely handy, and for its inexpensive price and how easily it charges, I think it's a pretty good deal. If you have any comments, put it down in the comment section. If you have any questions, please ask. If you like this type of video, please subscribe and like it, and shoestring 